Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to sum up the weekend review again in the Forex markets, gold, silver, stock markets. And again, we've had another crazy week. So what in the world is going on with gold, sw silver, the Swiss franc, the U.S. stock markets? And <clears throat> I have three words for you. Manipulation, intervention, and more manipulation. So that's what's driving all these markets now. There's no, nothing organic, there's nothing sustainable about all these moves, and that's what's causing a super fragile market in the global financial industry at the current time. And I'm gonna show you uh, some charts to show you what I mean. Okay, let's start off in the Forex markets. In just one day earlier this week, the Swiss franc tumbled a ridiculous 250 pips versus the euro, and then in the same day, regained it all against the euro and then some. So I'm going to show you this chart real quickly. You can see that is not a natural uh, kind of move market movement for any currency and it's just happening all on the basis of market intervention, market manipulation. So there are going to be uh, more financial earthquakes this year. If you look at the U.S. stock markets, uh, uh, let me show you this chart. You can clearly see uh, the upper resistance line that was on that chart, if it was too small to read, was the 100-day simple moving average. So every time the U.S. stock market threatened to plunge lower in recent months, you can see every time right, it, it plunged below that support line, the, uh, the Fed Reserve bankers, Janet Yellen in particular, uh, has done something to just prop the market back up, but it's not sustainable. It's not going back up after these steep plunges and that's why you have these volat you know these usually volatile moves in the stock market US stock market where you know the S&P 500 is losing 800 points that's gaining 800 points and it's losing 600 points that's gaining 600 points this is just insanity and this insanity is going to create a super super fragile market the longer it continues now i'm going to show you something that i tweeted this past sunday So here we go. I'm going to read you exactly what I tweeted this past Sunday, January 25th. So get your popcorn ready. Lots of volatility in gold, silver, and U.S. stock markets coming this week. Now, that is why my message, as my paying subscribers have known to my services, that my message for this year and last year was to remain nimble. You have to be nimble in these stock markets because and these global financial markets and the commodity markets as well because you can't know exactly, no one knows the timing. So that's why, you know, is definitely the message. No one knows the exact timing, say, when the Swiss bankers were going to uh, basically default on their promise to keep the peg to the euro 1.2 well. And so you have to prepare in advance and be nimble also as well. You can't, this isn't a, a stick and hold to your position market uh, anymore. So, uh, you know, some people, I, I know I don't really uh, have time, you know, to go th read through comments on uh, my YouTube videos or go read through comments on my Twitter. I try to whenever I have free time, but I don't have, just don't have much free time uh, at all these days. And so mostly my staff does that and I talk to my staff in, you know, weekly meeting and we discuss, um, the comments now so I just want to I'm only saying this because my staff told me sometimes you know people write stuff oh it's easy to say stuff in hindsight and the thing is <clears throat> that the specific guidance of course I'm reserving for my paying members so I don't post any of my specific guidance on uh, these YouTube videos or on on uh, Twitter that's more just of a general trend that that I will post so you know, when people say, oh, he said lots of volatility was coming, but you didn't say to the upside or to the downside or what you believe. Well, my paying subscribers know. And in fact, here, let me read you something just uh, to kind of refute those people that never have paid for any of our services and, and uh, you know, try to denigrate what I'm saying. Um, and in fact, there was someone on Twitter that said that, and I was actually online and read it, and I said, Hey, uh, I just looked up your name and uh, you said, oh, you lost uh, money on gold and silver because of, you know, what I said on my Twitter feed. And I said, you have never even uh, subscribed to us. So while a lot of the stocks last year, the mining stocks were down 30% or so, we basically 
uh, ended last year uh, fairly even. We're up 5.9% uh, um, in January with our uh, flagship investment newsletter. And again, uh, <clears throat> in preparation for what I saw coming as far as this bank raid, um, I released to my clients this is exactly what I said. I said, I believe that the pro USD banking cartel is going to try to take the spot gold price below $1,250 an ounce. So that's exactly what I said, and it went to $1,251 yesterday. So again, my subscribers will know now what I, you know, I'll, I'll tell them where, where I think the price of uh, gold and silver is going to head from there. So, you know, we did take hedges earlier in the week, and, you know, the hedge we took against silver, which dumped, uh, I believe it was like over 5% yesterday. Let me take a quick look. Uh, silver dumped over 5.82%, gold was down 1.96% yesterday's market, and so the hedges we took in preparation for my subscribing members, the, our hedge against uh, falling silver is up almost 15% right now, and then our hedge against falling gold is up about 2.6 or 7% right now. So back to the original story, at least that gentleman on Twitter was gracious enough to say, yeah, I really have no clue what you're telling your subscribing members because I only follow you on Twitter and just read the stuff you say, which is very, very general. The key is you have to remain nimble. So even with my platinum numbers, even with junior mining stocks, you know, which are typically so volatile, um, of course, you guys, I gave to my platinum subscribers with a lot of the junior mining stocks that uh, basically I provide guidance on and I provide a specific uh, day to purchase a specific day, specific day to exit earlier this year and on that guidance um, these were some of the returns that some of my platinum member members made on junior mining stocks um, that followed that guidance was positive 82 percent 52 percent 32 percent 29 percent 24 percent 20 percent 19 percent 19 percent and 15 percent so the key is just to stay nimble uh, in these markets because you never really know what these bankers are going to do so obviously you know you have to be predict predict long-term trends but in the short term you I, I strongly believe that you have to remain nimble um, and people say why did silver plunge so much yesterday well people say that the fact that the CME basically hiked uh, silver margins by 11%, they said that fact was leaked to the market. So they knew that basically people were going to have to sell. If you don't really know what that means, when basically to use a poker analogy, when the CME hikes margins um, to buy futures contracts, it's like uh, upping the ante in the game of poker. So either, uh, or, you know, putting more into uh, raising raising the pot and you basically basically have to ante up if uh, you want to stay in the game and if not you got to sell or in poker you got to fold but when it comes to commodities it means you have to sell and of course if you can't stay in the game you have to sell that's going to create downward pressure on the price so uh, that's basically what happened to silver yesterday why silver got slammed so much so um, you know, in the long term, I still think that given all the fragility in these markets that people uh, shouldn't be shocked by, you know, what's going on right now with all this volatility because that it's points to the fragility and the fraud that is rampant in these markets. And I think you have to prepare for it and you have to remain nimble in the short term. And then when the long term trends finally do manifest and they will the long-term trends will manifest so in other words the stock markets will go the way they should go gold and silver will eventually go the way they should go and then that is when you just want to be positioned in for the long term but in the me meanwhile in the short term the message is always to stay nimble and one other quick message um, some of you have noticed that our videos our blogs our free new newsletters and whatnot are growing a little bit less frequent uh, it's only due to the fact that in this uh, struggling global economy, we've had to downsize a little bit too. So I just don't have as much uh, time to devote to free information uh, anymore. So for nine years, we haven't taken, uh, proud to say we've basically done this. We devoted thousands, literally thousands of man hours to provide free information through our blog for nine years. And also through this smart 
Knowledge You YouTube channel through our free newsletters, thousands and thousands of hours where we haven't taken a dime and, or any donations. And it's just becoming really hard to do that in this type of economy now. So uh, for the first time, we have a donate button on our blog at www.smartknowledgeu.com forward slash blog. So I would ask if any of you have been long time readers, long time viewers, and have uh, benefited from any of that information, if you could perhaps kindly donate just a little bit something to help us continue providing this information for free. Because it is hard now to provide all this information for free um, just because of uh, it's more the time that it takes us to do this. But we have to make up for all the lost hours of, of time that we put in just um, providing this information. So hopefully we hope to provide, continue to be able to provide this kind of news uh, on a more frequent basis uh, as well. But we just wanted to make that quick, quick, quick public service announcement. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Um, as always, remain intensely curious. And as these economic conditions worsen around the world because you know we look at the 80 wealthiest people now owning more than uh, half, a, half the world's population, which is like ludicrous. I hope everyone remembers to be kind and compassionate to one another because we all do not know the situation of even sometimes even our, our close friends and what's going on financially, economically with them because uh, a lot of people uh, do not talk about this. Even with my business, we've had to downsize just because of the fact that the spot prices of gold and silver have been lower for the past several years and as that goes, so does our business. So um, just remember to be kind to everyone. It doesn't take a lot of effort, but yet it can brighten a lot of people's days quite a bit. Okay, so on that positive note, I hope everyone is well and have a wonderful evening or day. So long.